this video, I'm going to show you how to install Omarchi Hyperlint on your computer in just a few minutes. This brand new easy Omachi installation guide will help you to quickly set up a pre-configured Arch Linux system with Hyperlint. Now for this demonstration, I will be installing Omachi on my laptop along with side Windows operating system. I have already allocated a dedicated M2 drive specifically for this installation. Before we get started, let me give you a quick introduction to Omachi. Omachi is opinionated Arch Linux plus Hyperlint configuration created by DHH. The core part of Omachi features Hyperlint running on top of Arch Linux, providing a minimal yet stable experience. Now this is just the installation guide, but I will be making a full review of this brand new Hyperlint experience very soon. So stay tuned for future updates. Now with that said, it's time to get started with the Omachi installation process. Now first, head over to the Omachi website and download the ISO image. Then download the Rufus from the second link. Once both files are downloaded, place them somewhere for easy to access. It's time to create a bootable USB with Omachi. You will need USB pen drive with at least 4GB of space. Then plug it into your computer. Now for this video, I will be using Rufus to burn the Omachi ISO file. Now simply select your pen drive. Import the Omachi ISO file. And use the partition scheme as GPT with UV BIOS mode. You can also use Bellina Etcher or Ventoy Drive if you prefer. Then click Start. Once the flashing process is complete, restart your PC or laptop. While your system is rebooting, enter into BIOS settings. Now use the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. In my case, my computer boots into the startup menu and I press F10 to access the BIOS setup. In the UFI BIOS, enable USB boot. Then disable secure boot, which is very important. Otherwise, Omachi may not boot. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary boot device. Now once done, save the changes. Your system will now boot into the Omachi installer from the USB drive. If it doesn't, use the boot menu to load Omachi install media. You will now see a CLI environment. If the font size looks too small, press the escape key twice to quit the installer, then run this command and press enter to increase the console font size. It's time to install Omachi. Now go ahead and type this command to launch the automated script. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and press enter to confirm selections. Now choose your system language. Now select your network and connect for internet access. Next, go ahead and create a user account. Then enter your full name and optionally an email address for Git authentication. Then set a house name. Just press enter to keep the default Omachi. Then select your time zone. To filter, type forward slash and enter your city name. Select it and press enter. Once it's done, you will see summary. Just press yes to confirm. Next, select the disk where you want to install Omachi. I will be using my dedicated 120 gig SSD. Select it, press enter and confirm yes to format the drive. Now the installation process will begin. Sit back and relax 
it may take a while. Now once complete, your system will reboot and ask you to remove the USB drive. After that, your system will boot directly into the Omachi desktop. This is how you properly install Omachi Hyperlint on your computer in just a few minutes. After booting into Omachi, type your password and press enter. The first thing you should do after installing Omachi is to press Super plus K. The Super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. This will display a list of key bindings for apps, window management, workspaces, and much more. I strongly recommend reading the list and memorizing a few shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, you can press Super plus W and the Escape key for closing the pop-ups. Now press Super plus Enter to open the terminal. At the top of the screen, you will see the V-bar with several controls. On the left, you will find the Omachi Start menu, where you can launch apps, customize Hyperlint, and much more. Next to it, you will see the workspace switcher, allowing you to quickly switch between workspaces. You can also use the keyboard shortcut super plus a number 0 to 9 to jump directly between them. Now pressing super plus escape key opens the Omachi power menu, there you can lock, suspend, relaunch hyperlint, restart or shut down your computer. On the right side of the V-bar, you will see system controls, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, CPU usage, battery status and much more. Now hovering over each icon gives you detailed information. To configure Bluetooth, simply click the Bluetooth icon. It opens a manager where you can pair and control devices. Omachi also comes with the Rofi app launcher. Now press Super plus Spacebar to open it. Now from here, you can search for any installed application and launch it instantly. You don't need to use the mouse. This makes navigating your system incredibly fast and efficient. And that's a quick look at Omachi 2.0. Stay tuned, I will be making a full review of this brand new Hyperlint experience very soon. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this video? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KS Kirail. I will see you in the next one.